Hey guys, welcome back to Knowledge Life SolidWorks tutorial series. In this video, we are going to design a simple ice cream scoop handle by using the SolidWorks sweep tools, which already I have explained. And here I will be using one more feature which is called full round fillet. So already I have explained both the tools. The link has given in the description box. You can go and you can study those videos also. So you can see new screen. This is the model that we are going to design right now. So let's open a part first. Click on the new. Click on the part and go for OK. So here you can see the unit is millimeter gum second. Let it be. I will choose here right plane and go for the sketch. And I'll go for the ellipse here. Click on the ellipse. Take an ellipse and I'll draw an ellipse which is like this and I'll go for the dimensions and I'll be giving the dimension which is having the major axis 30 and I'll be giving the minor axis which is 20 and I will just give a relation here this and this give the relation here vertical now you can see it's getting fully defined come out from the sketch and I will just take here front plane, click on the sketch, make it normal to the plane. Now I will go for the line and I will start from this point and I will make a straight line and I will be giving the dimension of that straight line which is 96.5 Now I will come out from the sketch and I'll go for the front plane once again and I will do here convert entities click on this convert entities click on this go for the convert entities click on this select this line go for convert entities and now I will convert this into construction geometry this and this now I will go for the tool here called spline click on the spline I will start from this point I'll draw like this I'll make it like this now you can see I will do here one thing I'll be giving the relation this 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 and this not this so this I will select and I will be giving the relation horizontal and just go with the ok once again I will select this 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 and this I will be giving the relation horizontal now go with the ok now I will be giving the dimension for this you can see here click on this point from here to this I'll be giving the dimension which is 23 you can give the value here 23 In the same way you can give the dimension which is 30 okay uh, already uh, it has taken the relation with this point so we don't need to give that dimensions now I will be giving here one relation this point and this point I will be giving the relation vertical just go with the ok I will be giving the relation from here to here this point give the dimension having the horizontal dimension 12 in the same way next from this point to this point having the dimension which is 12 You can adjust it first before giving the dimension. Now I'll be giving the dimension from this point to this point. Give the horizontal dimension which is 12. Once again from this point to this. Give the horizontal dimension 12. 
from this point to this give the horizontal dimension 12 and from this point to this point give the horizontal dimension 12 and here to here this point to this point give the horizontal dimension 12 now you can see here your curve is getting fully defined so come out from the sketch and once again I will select the front plane and go for the sketch now I will go for the convert entities I will be doing convert entities of these two line and just go with the ok now I will convert this into construction geometry and now I will go for the command called mirror so here I will choose this and mirror about this center lines and just go with the ok now I will convert this line once again into construction geometry now come out from the sketch now here you can see I will go for the sweep boss base click on this here you can see this is my profile and this is my path and here you can see we have the option called guide curve I will choose this as my guide curve first guide curve and this is my second guide curve now you can see here and just go with the ok so look at here your model is looking like this now I will be going for the fillet click on the fillet tools and select this edge give the fillet radius of 3 mm just go with the ok now I will select this face and go for the sketch make it normal to the plane and I will go for the convert entities this and now I will go for the ellipse once again click on the ellipse I'll make an ellipse which is like this give the relation this and this horizontal now I'll go for the dimensions I'll be giving the dimension from here to here which is 11.25 now I'll be giving the vertical dimensions which is from this point to this point which is having the dimension of 19 now you can see here it's looking like this now I'll be going for the circle once again so click on this circle here I'll go for the circle and draw a circle and give the radius click on this I will change it first from here itself and then I'll be giving the radius which is 7.6 Now I will give here one dimension from this point to this to distance which is 25.3 and this is having the relation which is vertical to the center just go with the ok. Once again I will go for the circle and I will draw here circle, one circle somewhere here give the diameter of that circle and I'll be giving the diameter is 18 and here to here having the relation which is horizontal we have to give the dimension so I'll give dimension from this end to this center having the dimension of 25 now you can see here this sketch is looking like this now I will go for the go for an arc I will draw here a I'll go for three point arc so I'll choose from this point I'll choose from click on this point I'll be making an arc like this first I'll be giving the relation this and this arc having the relation tangent in the same way I'll be giving the relation this and this arc having the relation tangent now go for the dimension and give a radius of 15 now you can see here that sketch is getting fully defined in the same way I will just draw one line from here to here so it has taken the relation already tangent and now here also I will do one thing I will create an arc so click on this I will click on this circle to this 
and I want to give the relation this circle and this having the relation tangent and this arc and this circle having the relation tangent and I will be giving here the radius which is 20.32 so I will be giving here 20.32 I will go for the trim right now click on the trim so let it be this portion keep trim entities as construction element and I will go trim this portion here even I want to trim this portion and uh, we have to trim this portion also this and this now come out from the sketch I'll go for the extrude and I'll select the sketch and I will just reverse the directions now you can see it's extruding outward I want to reverse the directions I will be giving the extruded height of 3 mm and just go with the ok now you can see here your model is looking like this now I will go for the fillet here click on the fillet and you have here one more option called full round fillet so I will select this face I will select this face I will select this face and just go with the OK. Now I will just make it like this and I will change the desktop background. Now you can see your model is getting ready. So guys hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get such type of more videos on SOLIDWORKS and other CAD software. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and happy learning.